Um, yeah. Oh, yeah, the Yagis. Yeah. Close enough. That's that's doing this field, so you get a bit off the back and actually covering up to us there a touch yeah. as well. Um, and yeah, it's dead simple. You plug the plug that into a network and you plug some antennas into it. And and Avoir your um the connected one. I'm just gonna see. That's totally cool. Make a call off this one. some of the settings on this. Yeah. Unfortunately we only got the two extra boxes that arrived on Tuesday. Mm. Um, so we've been working with one and we've just done it we didn't get them all quite configured and that's a hell of a lot better with a dedicated channel. Seeing and the thing, you know, the O2's 2G network has got 20 years of tweaking and yeah, using the browser. We've got four days in our <laughs> but it's, yeah having worked it's a never ending so this is you making a call across the that's, network. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, that's the um, an engineering mode phone. All right. So we're showing the, three, the channel number and the receive signal strength that we're on. Yeah. And the signal and type. So it's like a, a network engineer's debug phone. Cool. So I can see the types. So it's an access grant signaling channel. You know, yeah. a TFR when it's got a traffic channel. That's the call up. Um, Good idea to get one of those if you're setting one up. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, it's basically these Nokia's about the the last thing that. Did it fairly well. Yeah. Um, so I still hold on to this one. This is actually my old when I worked at Orange doing radio engineering. This was my mm. field engineer, and the, the hang-up buttons died on it. <laughs> so I have to have to switch the phone off every time I want to end it. Oh. <laughs> That's incredible. So it's just a box, open source. Some antenna. Software. Yeah. Well, these are, it's all open source. But so all this in there is a Linux PC. Yeah. An Atom CPU. Um, running Ubuntu, and a USB cable into a software-defined radio in there. That's the whole thing. It's all done in software. Wow. Um, but also, it's not. So where was it? It's like a normal mobile network. You have base stations. You have core controllers. You're switching yeah. HLR. That is actually not just the base station, but the whole network compressed into that. So, so you can just yeah. plug it's not even with a network connection and make calls between the cell. Yeah. Um, and it's SIP out. So have you ever played with SIP much? No. Voice over IP type yeah, stuff? Oh, yeah. Asterisk, asterisk? Yeah, so, I've used yeah. asterisk. So our core network is asterisk. That looks like a SIP phone to asterisk. So when you're calling, we're switching everything between asterisk. And these are just SIP phones. So it's it's GSM to here and SIP out of a network cable, which is nice. fantastic. And if you're just running one, yeah. it even has a local asterisk on the box. So your calls can be switched between the box and you can do everything on the box if, you, if you're that sort of compressed and yeah in a small enough um, area in a small enough area 